Hello there, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Story. In this video, we'll be telling you the story of Clone Commander Gregor, aka CC5576-39, who is most notably seen in Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. He is one of our favorite clones from all Star Wars, and is very special to us, especially because of how happy me and Luke the other scoundrel were to see him return in Star Wars Rebels, along with the other clone commanders. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon because we believe that there's no reason why most of it can fit together. So anyway, let's do it! CC5576-39, nicknamed Gregor, was born 32 years before the Battle of Yavin on the planet Camino as part of the Grand Army of the Republic to fight against the enemies of the Republic such as the Confederacy of Independent Systems. He was a genetic replica of the legendary Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett, as was the entire clone army. From the beginning, he trained to become a clone commando, and when the Clone Wars started in 22 BBY, he would gain the rank of captain and command Foxtrot Group, a squad of clone commandos. Gregor's squad was a part of the 212th Attack Battalion and participated in the assault of the planet Serish. The Republic suffered a defeat, and as Gregor struggled to find help for his fellow troops, he suffered from amnesia and ended up on a shuttle that ended up crashing on the planet Abafar. There he was rescued by a Celestin called Borkus, who would in the end take advantage of Gregor due to his memory loss and give him a job as a dishwasher in his diner. Eventually, Colonel Mieber Gaskin and his squad of droids would arrive to the city of Ponzora as they searched for a way to get off of Abafar. They would arrive to the diner where Gregor worked, and after a series of events, the colonel would recognize him as a clone trooper of the Republic, although Gregor knew nothing of it. Later that day, when Gregor was returning from work, he would encounter a hologram in his apartment of a soldier called Clone Captain Rex. Gaskin and D-Squad would arrive and verify him as a clone commando thanks to a chip in his arm, and slowly his memories started to return. Soon after, Gregor had a nice shave, and alongside D-Squad, he would go to the diner and retrieve his old clone commando armor and weapons from his boss Borkus, who tried to stop them. You turned me into a slave. I've worked in this dump taking orders from you when I could have been fighting for the Republic. With the help of D-Squad, Gregor retrieved his Gatarn class commando armor. Together, they would go to the landing bay where the Separatists were stationed and mining the explosive Rhydonium fuel. Gregor would send D-Squad to head to the shuttle while he provided cover fire for them. The clone commando began to dispatch the battle droids guarding the facility as he targeted various barrels of Rhydonium. I forget to remember how much I hate these guys. Here he showed what a clone commando was truly capable of as he stood alone against countless enemies. Don't worry about me! As D Squad made their escape, Gregor targeted more of the Rhydonian barrels as he was being overrun by the droid forces, resulting in the facility's destruction and his death. You will be remembered, Captain Gregor. We will take your heroic story back to the Republic, and we will watch for your return. In truth, Gregor survived this due to his exceptionally strong Katarn class commando armor and returned to the Republic, which was when he was granted the rank of commander. In 19 BBY, Chancellor Palpatine, aka Darth Sidious, issued Order 66 to execute all Jedi and transform the Republic into the Galactic Empire. It is unknown what Gregor was up to then and whether or not he participated in Order 66, although at some point he removed his inhibitor chip, which was there to force him to eliminate his Jedi generals. After CT-7567, aka Captain Rex, was saved by Ahsoka Tano from the brainwashing of his inhibitor chip, he would meet with Commanders Gregor and Wolf as the Clone Wars along with the Republic has ended. For the next 15 years, during the rise of the Empire, Gregor was living alongside Captain Rex and Commander Wolf in a modified ATT walker on the planet Celos. Whether it was because of the removal of his inhibitor chip or simply his history with memory loss, Gregor's mind took a hit and over the years he became a bit crazy and had mild episodes of insanity. He was now a happy-go-lucky geezer and was almost never in a bad mood and greatly enjoyed hunting giant worms called troopas. The only part that was left of his old commando armor was a gauntlet from his right arm, which he always wore, reminding him of the good old days in the Grand Army of the Republic. 
In 4BBY, the clones were approached by a rebel cell known as the Ghost Crew, which was looking for information of abandoned military installations that the rebels could use. The members on the mission were former Jedi Knight Kanan Jarrus, along with his Padawan Ezra Bridger, as well as the Mandalorian Sabine Wren, and the Lasat Zeb Aurelius. At first, they almost shot each other down until Rex calmed the situation down, reminding them who the real enemy was, as he welcomed them as friends because Ahsoka Tano sent them. Since the clones were helping the Ghost Crew, Gregor asked them to help him catch a Jupa and needed the Lasat to be the bait. We're coming up on a hot spot! Your hot spot looks like everywhere else on this desolate rock. Eventually, they would all work together to capture a Jupa. Here's one for you, General. Don't call me that. I was never a general. But my mistake. Sorry, Commander. No, it's not. At once, Zebralius would be swallowed by the Jupa as the clones and the Ghost Crew worked together to pull it in with their modified ATT fishing pole, and eventually they were successful as they shot it with the big cannon. <laughs> Way to go! Now that, that was impressive. Before dinner, Sabine discovered that Wolf had contacted the Empire in order to protect his comrades from being persecuted for harboring the rebels. He realized his wrongdoing, although it was too late, as an Imperial pro-droid found their location and the Empire contacted them. If it's a fight you want, I hope you brought a better class of soldier than those stormtroopers. When the clones gave the rebels the information that they needed, they were attacked by the Empire. Gregor, you still got it. Shortly after, three AT-AT walkers led by Agent Callus arrived, and despite the odds, the brave clone commanders were excited for a fight once again like the good old days. As the sandstorm arrived, the clones and rebels used it to their advantage, especially when Ezra used the force to fire from the AT-AT into a weak spot of an AT-AT, which took it down. Once the sandstorm cleared, the rebels left, as the commanders went to have some fun. At least we'll go down fighting like a clone shoot. I'm with you all the way, Captain. During the battle, Gregor Rex and Wolf gave it their best, although it was not enough. To their surprise, the rebels came back, and with the use of Jedi again, they emerged victorious, although their ATTE was destroyed. Captain Rex would leave with the Ghost Crew to fight against the Empire with his old friend Ahsoka Tano, while Gregor and Wolf built their new home in a custom ATAT -AT walker with parts from their ATTE and named it Jupa Base. In Zero BBY, Rex along with Hera and former Imperial Agent Callus arrived to Silos to seek help in liberating Ezra's homeworld Lethal from the Empire. Gregor and Wolf were already joined with Hondo Anaka, the Ugnaught Merch, and the Mandalorian bounty hunter Ketsu. Despite small chance of success, Gregor Wolf and the others agreed to help free Lothal. As the battle for Lothal started, the Empire was pinning down the rebels until the Ghost Crew arrived with reinforcements. Despite this, they were still outnumbered until Ezra summoned the Loth Wolves with the Force to fight with them. Hey, Wolf! Can you believe it? What? The Wolves! You got your Wolf Pack back! <laughs> yeah, they fight just like the boys. In the end, they won the battle and captured Governor Price, although the capital city was still under Imperial rule. Together, they all infiltrated the Imperial Planetary Occupation Facility, and with the information provided by Price, they initiated Protocol 13, causing the Imperial garrison to evacuate aboard the Dome. Before the Dome would fire up its thrusters, Grand Admiral Thrawn arrived and bombarded the city with his Star Destroyers until Ezra agreed to come aboard the Chimera. In Ezra's absence, a plan was initiated to use the Dome's deflector shield in order to protect the capital city from bombardment, sending Gregor along with his comrades to capture and restart a power terminal where they would run into death troopers and many other Imperial forces. As he and Kallus pushed forward together and kicked ass, Gregor would be shot from the back by an Imperial technician, thus being mortally wounded, although continued to fight. In the end, they managed to bring the shields back up, after which Rex came to his old friend. It was an honor to fight with you for something that we chose to believe in. <sighs> we did it, Gregor. Clone Commander CC5576-39, aka Gregor, would pass away and become one with the Force, although despite not being Force-sensitive, there is no death, there is only the Force. His bravery and sacrifice helped liberate Lothal from the Empire once and for all, as it never again returned, eventually leading to the Rebellion's victory at the Battle of Endor and bringing peace to the galaxy. Anyway guys, this is it on the story of Clone Commander Gregor, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you enjoy our content, make sure to check out our second lore channel, The Crossroads Inn, and if you want to watch more videos like this one, the links to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories and videos will be down below.
Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. And remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.